It's Madame Chocolate. It's been a while, but I've been doing a lot. This is the last of the gifts of Madame Bava. And this is the Trader Joe's. See, I have a little present. It's, a, it's already been opened. It's, it's called the Chocolate Passport, Trader Joe's Chocolate Passport. And it came with one of these little stringy things that you that you would wrap or they would wrap in, a, in an Italian store, which was, if you wanted to save the string in those stores, it would be a bitch and a half to get the knot out. And who would get the knot out instead of cutting the string? Yes, yes, it would be me. And it would be a frustrating wait to get to the inside, but mostly disappointing. I don't really like American Italian Italian-American desserts at all, ex with the exception of the rainbow cookie. And here we have rainbow, look at this. And this is varying, varying uh, dark chocolate, 60%, 60%, 70%, 70%. Now, I ate, who, who saves the wrappers? Me, I say the wrapper. So each one says something, I don't, you know, I actually I, I don't know if this chocolate's actually from the country, like this one says Peru, but it does say, for example, this one is well-rounded with subtle jasmine notes and a clean finish, ideal pairing, Cabernet Sauvignon. I, I, I don't do that, but I was imagining if, okay, so that would go with chocolate. And then this one, which I already ate all this one too, um, this was 66% from Ecuador. And this one said deep chocolate aroma with floral and fruit notes. And I think I actually kind of, when I realized I'm just not gonna just like scarf down this chocolate and, and actually see if I could taste the flavors they're describing, I think I did taste the fruit notes in this. Ideal pairing with mocha. Nope, didn't do that. Then I ate all of Venezuela and Venezuela was unique mild taste with hints of floral and dried grasses. Ideal pairing Earl Grey tea. I don't like Earl Grey tea because I don't like jasmine. But you know, I didn't even think I, I don't, they mentioned jasmine was in which one? Peru, I don't know if I tasted jasmine in there because the, the chocolate was probably so intense. Okay, so then I ate all of the Dominican Republic. <laughs> and this is a slightly nutty notes Slightly nutty notes and a sharp finish. Ideal pairing, Syrah. I have no idea what that is. Thank you very much, 70%. And now I'm up to Ghana. And Ghana is gonna be a Ghana. So here we go. So Ghana says peppery, I'm gonna try to focus now. Peppery notes and spicy aromas with a bitter dark chocolate bite. Ideal pairing. Uh, unsweetened cappuccino, I guess because this would actually taste sweet with with an unsweetened cappuccino. So here I am, opening it up. Ghana's gonna be a Ghana. This is what the bars look like. How cute, how nice. That's the back of the bar. Do I see one bubble? I see one bubble. Are you in my bubble? Okay, so then it has a gold wrapper inner wrapper, see. and now I'm gonna break. Let's see if, this doesn't look like it would break easily, but, oh, okay, here we go. Oh. To my freezer. Hmm. It's very smooth, this chocolate. This one, I don't taste no pepper. No peppery notes. No, I don't taste no peppery. Spicy aroma. Mm -mm. I wonder if they're all the same. It was all about the marketing, Lava. Okay. Very nice marketing. It's like a ship. A cargo ship or tugboat passport. It's probably major ship that brings people that are coming to stay in this country for good. Okay, I think that was a piece of chocolate. 
Thanks for watching. This has been Madame Chocolat with the Trader Joe's Passport Experience. I think I like this. It doesn't taste as um, bitter as I thought it would because of the way they were describing it. I think Dominican Republic tasted pretty bitter for 70%. So, Ghana's going to be a Ghana.